is I have seen. Okay. So who can tell me what goes in to a feed for, say, like any of your livestock projects? Molasses. Okay. Say okay. more feed stuff. Protein. Correct. More. Protein, yeah. But what? Food. Crude. Oh, okay, you guys are trying to like go over. Is it, okay, all good answers. Not exactly what I was looking for, but I was looking for more of like the general feed stuff. So does anyone know what our two main Wheat. feed stuffs are? Okay. One of them is oats, corn. corn. Okay. <laughs> and the other one is going to be grain sorghum. So today what we're going to do um, is we are going to balance a simple feed ration just for two different things. Um, does anyone know what a ration means? Like the word ration when you're talking about animal nutrition? Yeah. Do you know how much it's for? over a 24-hour period, okay, guys? So we don't have handouts today. Yay, raise the roof, right? No handouts? Everybody, raise the roof. Yay. Wake up, raise the roof. Okay, so I'm going to need you all to pull out your own papers, and uh, we're going to learn how to use the Pearson Square method to balance a simple feed ration, okay? Yes, everybody good? Paper, pen? Okay, I know some of you guys like to draw really big. If you're going to do that, turn your paper landscape with so that you have extra room because we're going to be doing a little bit of math today. No. I know. <laughs> okay, sorry. So, step number one is you're going to draw a square. Now, what am I missing? I'm missing everything. I don't know what my ingredients are. I don't know what I need, right? So, there's three things. Write these down. One, two, three. Three things you're going to need when balancing a feed ration. Number one is going to be how many pounds are you mixing for? Number two is going to be what two feedstuffs are we using? And what is their protein content? Mm. And number three is the desired protein content of your final mix. Got it? Everybody got it? Okay. So what I'm going to give you guys is today we're going to mix for 100 pounds and we're going to mix our two ingredients are going to be corn, the desired for your total mix, corn and let's do soybean meal, we'll come back to green sorghum later. Does anybody know the average protein content of corn? 16. Lower. 13. Lower. 10%. Lower. 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 It's about 8, 8 to 9. Good job. So plus 5, copy your favorite, plus 5. 8%. Okay, so soybean meal is going to be much higher than that. 16. Or 5. Much higher than that. 21. 32. 44. We're pretty close. We're going to use 41. 41. Percent for soybean meal. Who said 41 plus 5? Carly. Okay, so now when we're using the Pearson square method, okay, just so you guys know, Pearson spelled like pear. Pearson. Apostrophe. Big on grammar. Pearson square <laughs> method. <laughs> method. Okay. How big should the square be on your paper? I mean, that's really tiny, but it's. <laughs> It depends how tiny you want to write, okay? <laughs> you can use the whole paper if you want. This is really loud. Okay, so what are we missing? I gave you two things. There's three that we need. The What's in protein, protein content. content. Yes. So we're going to make our in protein content uh, our final. We want it to be 16% protein. What, um, what feed do you guys buy? How many of you have animal projects? Who uses 16% protein mostly in their feeds? Anyone? Pigs. Okay. All right. So. On 16%? protein. Well, that's. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Step number one for the Pearson Square method is to draw a square. Okay. Number two, what we're going to do is put our final protein in the middle. 16. Because that's for this problem. Okay, now on each outer left-hand corner, step number three, we're going to write, so up on the top left, outside the square, write corn, 8%, and on the bottom, soybean meal, 
41%. Okay, everybody got that? Okay, step number four is we're going to take the difference diagonally across the square. Okay, so we're, I mean, you subtract, but since this is less, you can't have a negative pound. This is going to give you your pound over here on each side. So 16 minus 8 is 8. Going diagonally. Okay, and now this number is bigger, so 41 minus 16 is? Help me out. I'm not good at math. Plus math harder. 25. Okay. 30. 25. 25. Okay. Oh, never mind. Sorry. So, <laughs> good job. Uh, now what we're going to do, what step are we on? Number four? One, two, three, yeah, four. Um, what you're going to do is you need to take your total pound, so <coughs> 25 plus 8 is? 33. 33, okay. So this is for 33 pounds, but what's the problem with that? We need 100. We need 100, good job, guys. Okay, so the next step is you're going to put each number over 33, <laughs> because that's what we got, all right? And then we're going to multiply that times... 100, because that's how many pounds we're mixing for. And I'll tell you in this class, since we're principals, we're going to always mix for 100 pounds just to show you guys the percentages. When we get to, if you guys take advanced animal science later, um, you'll mix for other stuff. But in this class, we're always going to multiply by 100, okay? So then you're going to divide. Who has calculators? Do you guys want to? 70, 70, 7.75. For this one? Yes. 75? No, 7.57. So 76? 7.54. Okay, well, we're rounding up. Um, 6.75. Times 100. it'll be 75%. Yeah. You could. I'm fine. <laughs> were we talking about yesterday? Blood pressure? <laughs> okay. 8 divided by 33 <laughs> times 100. Anybody? Wait, what? 8 oh. divided by 33. 25%. Times 100. What a shocker that 75 and 25 add up to 100 pounds of feed. So, when we're mixing for 100 pounds of feed with corn at 8% and soybean meal at 41% protein, to get 16% final protein, we're going to mix 75 pounds of corn, because I know we go across diagonally, but remember we're always going to label the same on the same columns, okay? Or on the same rows. So, 75 pounds. Plus 25 pounds gives us our total. Yay! Squares. Okay. Now, who wants to come up to the board and we'll have the class walk you through it? You will? Okay. You can rip it. All right. And we're racing everything. And they can walk you through it. Okay. <coughs> Here you go. Now, what do we need? I will give you, this time we're going to do corn at 8% and grain sorghum <laughs> at 9% with a final of 18%. Okay. So you guys walk her through it. Draw a square. Rectangle. Box. <clears throat> Why is a square not a rectangle? Okay, you're going to put 18 in the middle. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> right, corn 8% on the top. Yeah. 9%. 9%. Okay. What now? Um, um, subtract 8 from 18. Down. Oh, you're going to. Oh. No, that's right. No, that's, that's right. right. No, that's right. right. 10. But, okay, 10 pounds. stop. I'm going to stop pounds. you guys for a second. Yeah, these are the pounds over here. This, is our, this is our pound side. Gosh. So divide both of those by 19. Okay, y'all, you're, you're getting ahead, though. But, yeah. This is 18. So we're going <laughs> to take these totals. Right? Okay, so we take the total and divide each number by the total because we're looking for a hundred pounds total.
Hey, Mr. Matthew, where's Tanner? Where's that? 47 and 53. Yeah. So that's 47 pounds of corn. Corn. All right. And 53 pounds of grain sorghum. Because we subtract diagonal but label vertical. Horizontally, yes. Thank you very much. You can sit down. Okay, now everybody has out their sheet of paper. So um, your ticket out the door today is I'm going to give you a problem and I want to see every single step written out on your paper, all right? So, I guess I can do that. We are going to do. Grain sorghum is the same at 9%, and we're going to do, no, let's make it, no, no. This grain sorghum has more protein. We have 11%, and go back to uh, our soybean meal at 41%, with a final of 18 again. Do you guys need me to leave this up here? Yes. Okay, I'll fix it then. <laughs> well, it's too late now. <laughs> Ma'am, shouldn't it be so... Oh, wait, never mind. No. Mm -hmm. Sorry. The new one will be silly bean meal. What's our final? Is our final still going to be 18? Yes. Ma'am. I'm done describing. Okay, today's, that's going to be your ticket out the door. So whenever you guys are ready, just turn it in at the front. If you have any questions, just let me know, okay? Mm.